everyone, thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to be doing an exercise to help us promote the compassionate or relaxation response. Now when we activate this response, our bodies actually decrease the amount of stress hormones that are released, like cortisol, and increase our feelings of safety and security. And it's useful to use the power of physical touch to help us trigger this compassionate response. So by putting one or two hands on our physical bodies, we can help ourselves feel safe and comforted. And you could think of it um, like if you've ever had a friend who was struggling or who was really upset and maybe you put a hand on their shoulder or an arm around them, or maybe rocking a baby um, who was fussing or crying, except we're going to be doing this for ourselves and comforting ourselves. Now we're going to be practicing some gestures that you might find comforting and some that you might find that aren't so comfortable. So it's important to note that um, these gestures will have different responses for different people. And I encourage you to find whichever gesture feels comfort comfortable um, and, and supportive for you. So we're gonna begin by putting one hand on our heart like this or maybe placing our other hand over our first hand and gently stroking our chest. Maybe you need something more strength focused, so making a fist and then placing your other hand over the fist. Maybe one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly or both of your hands on your belly. A lot of people who experience anxiety feel a lot of their stress and anxiety actually in their stomach. And so placing both of your hands on your stomach like this may be very supportive and comforting for someone, almost like acknowledging that you're feeling this stress in your stomach. This may not work for you. So maybe putting one hand on your cheek or both hands on your cheek, like cradling your face. Maybe stroking your arms like this, giving yourself a hug, or maybe even just cupping your hands and placing them in your lap. What's also useful is doing some sort of soothing vocalization when we're practicing our physical touch. Um, and you can think of um, people who practice yoga often use some sort of vocalization um, to also help trigger this relaxation response. They may hum or they may say um. But we can do this too, maybe by just, you know, placing our hand over our heart or wherever felt comfortable for you. And maybe just making a big sigh. <sighs> or maybe, you know, placing your hand on your heart or wherever was comfortable and, and just vocalizing what you're feeling right now. Like this is really difficult for me right now. Kind of just acknowledging and validating the struggles that you're going through with this physical touch. So I encourage you to continue exploring these physical gestures and vocalizations um, and find something that is really truly comfort comfortable um, and supportive for you um, and use them to care for yourself whenever you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. And that is our short compassion break for today and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>